Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the uh, weekly quest You Are On Fire. Uh, you, there's a couple of things, I'll, I'll look at the challenge in a minute, but uh, you will need some um, fuel for a flamer. Uh, you can get a flamer at the X3 quarry, I'll show you that in a second. But I'm just here at a crafting station and you can actually craft some fuel, you just need some acid, oil and steel, so I think so I think that's uh, pretty easy to, to create some fuel if you don't have any on hand. Okay, so the, the challenge we're going to do, as I said, is uh, you're on fire. It's a weekly challenge. Uh, set the world on fire. Um, so we're going to do the, the couple of things. The, the silo pieces are probably still bugs, so I don't bother with that. Uh, the one that I recommend you do um, is kill enemies with the flame at 10 of 10. Um, so we'll do that in a sec. Uh, kill a scorch piece, pretty easy to do. Uh, I did make a video about that, and there was someone that suggested you could go to one of the the areas where there were those turrets that you could uh, fix and uh, you could take them down. I didn't find it particularly any easier than doing it, killing the Scorch Beast yourself. Uh, but that's an option as well for you guys. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and then the last one is take a photo at a Fisher site. So we're going to do that. It's going to be probably a lengthy video for those that uh, don't want to watch. Just um, that's pretty much what we have to do. Um, I'll talk about it a little bit, and then uh, for those guys that don't watch, can can go watch something else. Uh, but yeah, so those are the three things I would suggest you do. Take a photo of the fish side, pretty easy to do. Uh, kill a Scorch Beast, and um, kill f uh, enemies with a Flamer. So let's talk about the Flamer for a second. If you don't have a Flamer, you can grab one here at the X3 Quarry, which is just outside Watoga. Uh, so just over here, there's an X-ray quarry, and if you go down near the end, there's a yellow pump, and I believe it's right behind the yellow pump is where you can actually find it. I actually found it there once by accident. Uh, there are some high level enemies there, so if you are low level, you may want to take a friend or try and see if you can purchase one somewhere else. Um, of course, Fisher sites, if you go to Fisher Prime, you can go down there. Um, this one's probably easier to get to. Uh, there's only one Scorch Beast, I think, down there, and that's Lake Louise uh, down in the Savage Divide. Um, if you want to take a picture down there, uh, I shouldn't have to speak about that too much. And there's one right up here. There's only one Scorch Beast uh, just to the left of Moss Town um, up by Sons of Dane. So I know there is one... I, I think it has to be a live official site that you'd have to take a picture at. But anyway, so let's get started. Let's do the flamer. Um, again, let, uh, I suggest going, it does burn through flame, your flamer fuel, like crazy. Um, so pick an area where there are low level enemies. Um, I'm down here by the west of the map, so we can hit uh, the nuclear plant, uh, which is pretty low level enemies. And if we run out of enemies uh, there, we'll probably just head to Lewis and Sons, uh, where there's a whole bunch of Scorch. But we should be able to get around um, uh, 10 enemies to uh, kill. So let's start off with that. Uh, but before, before, I, before I continue with that, just in terms of killing the Scorch Beast. Uh, so there's two areas I suggest the Scorch Beast is Fisher Sight. You might as well get the picture there as well if, you, if you're going to do that. Uh, I didn't find it particularly difficult to kill a one, but anyway, watch the video. I made one specifically about killing the Scorch Beast at the Fisher site. It's pretty easy and way to land and way to stand if you're a melee character. And then someone recommended um, if you go to one of these sites that have the big guns, uh, this is the one I'm sort of familiar with, uh, Survey Camp Alpha. Um, you can just keep loading the big uh, turrets and eventually it will take out the Scorch Beast. So, uh, I think it took about the same time to kill it at either location, so whatever you prefer. This one will chow through your gears, and I think it needs four different materials uh, to keep reloading it, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I noticed contracted didn't um, minimize the amount of materials you needed uh, to reload those turrets, but yeah, there are a few areas, of course. Um, not to forget, uh, there is an event at... Fort Defiance, so if you're doing that event anyway, that'll be another one to kill a Scorch Beast. There's a whole whack there, super easy, especially if there's a whole team there. Um, that you just have to, uh, just, just to note, you just have to tag one of the Scorch Beasts and then let the Tyrant kill it. 
and if you if you do that then you you should get that challenge um, completed okay so we're gonna head and do we've already killed the scorch beast and we're gonna head to uh, some burn some enemies there's quite a few outside I'm probably not gonna spend too much time inside I might actually just stay here versus walking down the road uh, there's probably 10 here that we'll have which will be plenty for what we need I think So again, just uh, conserve your fuel. Don't go crazy with your fuel, especially if you don't, you're not carrying too much of it. But it's fairly, fairly easy to remake some if you're near a camp. Okay, that's three. Okay, we should find a few more up here on the roof. <coughs> Four. We should find about two or three on the roof here. Yeah. I think that's it. I'll just double check. There might be one more around here. Yeah, there we go. There's a cash box in this this room. Yeah, that you need a pick lock. And if you have a level three pick lock, there is a whole uh, normally a bunch of quantums, uh, nu nuclear quantums in there as well. I think that's it for the enemies up here. Okay, so let's go down. I think there's a couple outside here. Yeah, maybe not. So we're gonna head inside here quick. We just probably need a few more. The other place you can kill enemies at the teapot. There's a whole bunch of enemies at the teapot. And again, if you're doing um, doing the teapot event, uh, there's gonna be a bunch of low level enemies that uh, are easy to kill. There you go, so don't even have to really go in. Actually, I might go in just to see if I can scrap some stuff quick. No.
Okay, so I'm just going to drop the, the flame off here quick, uh, just because I'm over encumbered, and then we'll head to a fisher site to complete the challenge. I think there might even be a fisher in the ash heap somewhere. Alrighty, so one more. I thought there was one. Okay, yeah, there is one down there, but I'm not sure that one's necessarily the closest one. Mm, it's not terrible. No, it's kind of the same. Um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, why not? So just remember to get a photo if you are killing the Scorch Beast. I'd probably just do that the first one, get the photo, kill the Scorch Beast, and then those two will be done very quick and easy. So just go near any fisher site and then you should just be able to take a picture. There you go. Very easy, 40 atoms. I like how they chase the... Like they go after the stranger, that's awesome. Mysterious stranger perk. To distract them. But this guy is still coming. So there you go. Uh, just a quick and easy challenge. Um, Shouldn't take too long. Scorch bees, kill 10 enemies with a flamer, and take fair photos of fish time. There you go. Thanks for watching, and if you found the video useful, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It does help me out a lot. Thanks a lot.